We are trying to find coordinates on the unit circle. Okay. They're saying the point P is this right here. It lies on the unit circle shown below. What is the value of X in simplest form? All right. And we can see there it is right there. So let's go ahead and just mark that so we don't have to keep going back and forth. So we're looking for the X and they give us the Y is negative two over seven. So the first thing we kind of want to do is we always draw our triangle with reference to the X axis. So that means the triangle would go this way and this way. All right. And that you want to make sure it's a, it should be straight, but yeah. Um, so this is our triangle. And we know that since this is a unit circle from the radius, uh, the radius is always one on a unit circle. So from the center to the end will always be one here. And then the X value is what we're looking for. So I'll just call this side X. And then this side right here, I wouldn't say negative two over seven. I would just call it two over seven. And then we can worry about the negatives later. Okay, so let's go ahead and we would use the Pythagorean theorem to find out what X is. So X squared plus Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, and C has to be the hypotenuse. And then these are legs, and it doesn't matter the order, okay? Go ahead and change color set. Neon is getting to me. All right, and then we have, so the X is what we're looking for. It's one of the legs. Two over seven is one of the other sides. And then the hypotenuse is one. All right, so we've just plugged everything in. X squared equals four over 49. Top and bottom get squared equals one. Minus four over 49, minus four over 49. Uh, one minus four over 49 um, is uh, X squared equals uh, I'll call that 49 over 49 is a one minus four over 49, subtract the tops and I get 45, 45 over 49. Square root both sides, undo the square. In my class, I always want you to do what when you undo a square? Plus or minus. That's always what we need when we undo a square. 45 over 49. Um, and then we drop the minus sign. So because we're talking about uh, side length here. So this would be square root of 45 over 49. And it looks like uh, we have to simplify 45. 45 breaks down into... Uh, five times nine and nine breaks down into three times three. So the square root of 45 is equal to the square root of uh, three times three times five. My trick is I pull out a pair of threes, comes out as one. All right, so the square root applies to both the top and the bottom, the square root of 45 and the square root of 49. So all this equals x equals square root of 45 simplified into 3 radical 5. And the square root of 49 is 7 times 7, 7. All right, 3 radical 5 over 7 is our x. They wanted it in simplest form. 3 radical 5 divided by 7. Got it. Okay, so that's the technique is you need to draw your triangle, however it's kind of represented, to the x-axis, and then you would label all the sides. The hypotenuse will always be 1. Keep track of your x's and y's, uh, and be careful about your negatives. So sometimes your x will be negative or your uh, y will be negative when you calculate it. Um, but it'll come out as positive because that's the way the Pythagorean theorem works. So you have to be careful of the quadrant. Which quadrant are you in? Are X's or Y's negative in your quadrant? Take a look at the next one. Any different here? And everything looks exactly the same. Okay, so you'd start off by drawing your triangle. Go straight to the X-axis first. 
then to the center. And then in this case, X is negative uh, radical eight over three. And you'd plug that into the Pythagorean theorem. I'd call this Y and this is one and then calculate it just like we did on the last one.